Chapter 7 The four sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron. The sons of Tola were Uzai, Rephaiah, Cheriel, Jamei, Ibsam, and Shemuel. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. At the time of King David, the total number of men available for military service from these families was 22,600. The son of Uzai was Israhiah. The sons of Israhiah were Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. These five became the leaders of clans. The total number of men available for military service among their descendants was 36,000, for all five of them had many wives and many sons. The total number of men available for military service from all the clans of the tribe of Issachar was 87,000. All of them were listed in their tribal genealogy. Three of Benjamin's sons were Bila, Iker, and Jedeel. The sons of Bila were Esbon, Uzai, Uziel, Jeremoth, and Airai. These five warriors were the leaders of clans. The total number of men available for military service among their descendants was 22,034. All of them were listed in their family genealogy. The sons of Bekir were Zemaira, Joash, Eliezer, Elionai, Omrai, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alameh. According to their family genealogy, there were 20,200 men available for military service among their descendants in addition to their clan leaders. The son of Jediel was Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan were Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kenana, Zithan, Tarshish, and Ahishohan. They were the leaders of the clans of Jediel, and their descendants included 17,200 men available for military service. The sons of Ir were Shupim and Hupim. Hushim was the son of Ahir. The sons of Naphtali were Jazil, Gunai, Jezer, and Shilem. They were all descendants of Jacob's wife, Bilhah. The sons of Manasseh, born to his Aramean concubine, were Azrael and Mekir. Mekir was the father of Gilead. Mekir found wives for Hupim and Shupim. Mekir's sister was named Meaka. One of his descendants was Zelophehad, who had only daughters. Mekir's wife, Meaka, gave birth to a son whom she named Piresh. His brother's name was Shiresh. The sons of Piresh were Ulam and Rekem. The son of Ulam was Bidan. All these were considered Gileadites, descendants of Mekir, son of Manasseh. Mekir's sister, Hamoleketh, gave birth to Ishhod, Abiezer, and Mala. The sons of Shemaida were Ahayan, Shechem, Likai, and Anayam. The descendants of Ephraim were Shuthela, Bered, Tehath, Elieda, Tehath, Zabad, and Shuthela. Ephraim's sons Ezer and Eliad were killed trying to steal livestock from the local farmers near Gath. Their father Ephraim mourned for them a long time and his relatives came to comfort him. Afterward Ephraim slept with his wife when she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Ephraim named him Beriah because of the tragedy his family had suffered. Ephraim had a daughter named Shira. She built the towns of Lower and Upper Bethoron and Uzen Shira. Ephraim's line of descent was Rephoth, Reshev, Tila, Tehan, Ledan, Amihud, Elishama, Nun, and Joshua. The descendants of Ephraim lived in the territory that included Bethel and its surrounding towns to the south, Nearan to the east, Gizer and its villages to the west, and Shechem and its surrounding villages to the north, as far as Aia and its towns. Along the border of Manasseh were the towns of Bethshan, Teanach, Megiddo, Dor, and their surrounding villages. The descendants of Joseph, son of Israel, lived in these towns. The sons of Asher were Imna, Ishva, Ishvai, and Beriah. They had a sister named Serah. The sons of Beriah were Heber and Malkiel, the father of Birzaith. The sons of Heber were Japhlet, Shomer, and Hotham. They had a sister named Shua. The sons of Japhlet were Pasach, Bimhal, and Ashva. The sons of Shomer were Achai, Roga, Huba, and Eram. The sons of his brother Helem were Zophar, Imna, Shilesh, and Amal. The sons of Zophar were Sua, Hanafer, Shual, Birai, Imra, Bizer, Hod, Shema, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bira. 
The sons of Jether were Jephunneh, Pisbah, and Era. The sons of Ula were Era, Haniel, and Rizia. Each of these descendants of Asher was the head of an ancestral clan. They were all skilled warriors and prominent leaders. There were 26,000 men available for military service among the descendants listed in their tribal genealogy.